Gunner Sergeant J.R.S. Sigra, third LSB. Actually, it is. Um, it is my first time here in the Philippines, and the experience, you know, since we landed in Subic, and then now here in, in Casiguran, it's been it's been amazing. So here as a senior motor uh, motor transport enlisted um, uh, chief for Third Landing Support Battalion. Um, once we got to Subic, we've assisted in the MPF offload, where it consisted of myself and my motor T operators basically offloading over 100 plus, 180 plus vehicles and equipment from the, from the doll, from the ship. And then fast forward a couple weeks later, uh, we, we came out here to Casaguran, uh, where we did beach operations, um, in-stream offloads uh, over at the pier as well. Uh, so this, this actually has been the first time, especially here in the Philippines, um, for my guys. I know a lot of my junior enlisted, um, this is their first offload ever. Uh, first time deploying overseas to uh, any country uh, besides Okinawa. But a lot of the things that they've been doing these past couple weeks, it's is their very first time doing this. I think this, this applies to CJ Lots because, like it's in the name itself, it's, it's, it's a joint effort. Um, you have the CBs here, the Navy, um, Army, Marines. Uh, everybody works together to get you know the mission accomplished and that mission was to show that we're capable of you know, offloading gear and equipment, rolling stock from ship onto shore uh, at, you know, at a fast, fast pace. I think this big, plays a bigger role because uh, not a lot of people see it, but these trucks that we're offloading, especially the trucks that we offloaded in Subic, they get spread loaded across Philippines, the different uh, areas of operations where other units in the Marine Corps, Army, whatever branch is out here in Balagatan, um, the gear that we offloaded in Subic gets put on uh, tractor trailers and then gets spread loaded across the entire island. So I, I think this applies to real life scenarios because, you know, we're, so, we're still stuck in the, you know, combat, the desert combat scenario where this, we're on a whole new island. Um, it's never been done before. I think what, what the Marine Corps is trying to do is it, it's taking us back to what our ancestors did, um, our predecessors did during the island hopping campaign in World War II. So a lot of this offload that you see, you know, you see the vehicles coming off these LCUs, the other craft, watercrafts that um, the Navy provides. It, it just, it plays a really big role in, you know, what, what's to come. I actually think this is really perfect. Um, for the first time, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first in-stream offload that's con been conducted on this side of the Philippines. Um, I think I think they should keep it like that. Um, maybe open up more um, beach landings and just not this beach landing right here. But I think it worked out because uh, they gave us the opportunity to utilize the beach landings along with offloading um, gear over at the pier. Um, and that allowed my Marines, my motor transport operators, to be able to conduct little convoys through the Filipino towns all the way here to the staging lot you, you see behind us. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think uh, Balagatan, you know, it's, it's in the name itself. It's uh, working together with the Filipino, um, getting our relationship stronger with, them, stronger with them. And, you know, the stuff we do here, you know, they've been, they've been here this entire time assisting us. And I, th I think it's just great to start that relationship up with, with them. Uh, we just conducted a, a convoy which consisted of a few tactical vehicles that's, you know, never been done by, uh, by the m Marines before here in the Philippines. Uh, pretty much proved to a lot of people that, you know, we could conduct convoys from shore to inland, which we did in a day. Uh, we took out, you know, a few Humvees, um, set, set up a tactical convoy, and then we traveled, you know, through the mountains of Philippines, uh, through the Sierra Madre Ridge, stayed in Dela Cruz for a day, and then came right back. Um, and with what we did with, you know, a few tactical vehicles, it shows it, it, it shows a bigger picture that it's, it's doable. We could conduct beach landings and then take our vehicles, instead of using you know, contracted civilian tractors, we could drive our vehicles up to wherever, wherever is needed in the Philippines.